presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. After a long weekend, let's have a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 47, NASDAQ off 173, S&P's down 29. Gold, gold contract up $11.50, traded at 2035 an ounce. We had silver down 43 cents, $23.04 an ounce. Late sweet crude. Down a buck, $78.18 a barrel. Copper, copper up another two pennies, trade, trading 387. That's copper's on its way to 405, folks. Big move in copper. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note up six ticks, trading 109.30. The 30 year up three at 118.10. And if you take a look at this 10 year, folks, okay, what we've done here is this. Come on, baby. Bring it up. Okay, so we take a look at this. And we've been testing the lows, and it's having a hard time getting away from these lows. The, we bring this up. We've been down here five days. And you can see, you know, you're at about a 50% retracement of the last move. Let's see exactly where it is. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. You're at, you're at a 50% retracement of the last move up. So bottom line is that it's got to get away from this area. And most times when you do get away from an area like that, okay, you need a sign of strength, folks. So a sign of strength is a wide price spread accelerated volume. And then we get over to the good old U.S. dollar. We get over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What you have with this dollar, we got down to 103,796. Well, bottom line is that we're talking about a lower range of 103,500 area, 582. That's what it looks like. That's what so bottom line, you get another rejection. And the longer the dollar stays up here, mind you, you can see uh, market-wise out here today, if we take the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. Well, I'm going to do the Qs first because the SPY definitely has lighter volume. It looks like it wants to reject lower price. Where the Qs, here's the divergence. The Qs have already got to the high volume low that was established out here last week. That price point there is the 426.33. We're at 426.73. We hit 423.50. Um, now, the volume is lighter, okay? Uh, we, we got 40 million versus 64, but we're going to end up doing 50 million. My take is that this thing's going to get down into this next level, and that level would be like the 416 area, and right now you're at 426, you know, because what's happening here is that you have a slow roll. These slow rolls are really dangerous at highs, folks, okay? You can see all these little bars, okay? So first off, you get the little bars up at the highs. Now you get nice starting with the slow roll. And the little bars, by the way, have been going on for quite some time, man. Yeah, so we'll see where it shakes out. Gold, my take uh, is that the gold contract has actually bottomed. Let's pull this up. We came down hard and fast, man, and Okay, so 
You're up 1140 right now. This has dynamite volume today. 191,000 contracts. We got to a price point of 2042. There are 2035 right now. That expansion in volume after getting smoked last week uh, is a good sign because now we're in the higher range. Once you get in the higher range, it's like, okay, man, here we go. We take this, and you're going to see. We're not, we haven't broke the downtrend yet. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be approaching this downtrend line in the next few days, though. I don't know, we'll, see, we'll see how this shakes out. Silver. Now, silver had a... It, it, it's interesting. Silver's backing down today, but silver, had a, silver actually was leading last week. Yeah, and see, the back down today is just an inside day because this was a big move inside the silver market last week. Yeah, we, we got up to this price point of 23.51, you know, gave it up today, but yeah, it didn't get to the lows of last Friday today. So that's still a positive, and that's saying that silver does want to make its way up to 24.30 to actually 25. Hold on one second. Yeah, 2470 to 25. That's where we came down hard and fast. This will take a little to get there, but my take is that that's where it's going. Uh, NVIDIA. Let's go look at NVIDIA because NVIDIA is going to be, a, going to be all about NVIDIA tomorrow. Not today. It's uh, after the market tomorrow. NVIDIA is going to be looking to do, let's do this number. If you remember the last time NVIDIA came out with numbers, man, they were explosive numbers. Um, NVIDIA went from quarter to quarter. One the, the, first, the second quarter did 13.5 billion. The last quarter did 18.18 billion. Yeah, you heard that right. I mean, you talk about an acceleration. Now the difference here is that they're not looking. They're only looking to do 20.48, and then bring four dollars and sixty cents to the bottom line. We'll see where it shakes out, man. There's going to be a lot of numbers after the close out here to, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Walmart, Walmart came out with some big numbers out here this morning. That broke topside. That's a monster ABC structure on the way up. Let's put this on a weekly and see what we have here. Yep. That's what it's going to be. Let's see how this works. 169. It's almost hit it. 189 would be the price projection. We've already hit 181. And Walmart did, $173 billion. Imagine doing $173 billion in 90 days, <laughs> bringing a dollar, 80 to the bottom line. It's amazing that a store like Walmart can actually keep growing. Now, they're only growing at 2% a year. But uh, Sam's Club, look at Sam's Club. That's growing at 3.5% a year. Um, yeah, you got some numbers out here. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, trading down 50, Nasdaq's uh, up 166, S&P's are down 29. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down to 60. You got the NASDAQ off 164. S&Ps are down 29. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as you do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day. 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go on to... Newsletters, you're going to see right on the left-hand side, you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil also has about 12 archives on there, so you understand exactly how he looks at the market every day and exactly how you'd ride the Chapman wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is uh, these three charts that I'm showing right now, this is the daily chart of the Dow, the weekly chart of the Dow, and the monthly chart of the Dow, kind of sums up what I'm looking at. The daily chart... Is in this, I drew this rectangle in a little while back, and I said there's a con probably a consolidation taking place right now. So that's the daily chart. You can see some of the technicals are starting to weaken. This is the MACD and the stochastic, even the relative strength. Um, the unbalanced volume, the little blue line is holding well, and the nine-period moving average is still over the 14. So that's good. So in my work, I like to identify the lowest low bar and then count each successively higher peak like this right here. Yes. Alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. A peak A, the next peak higher, one penny higher starts, leg B, that makes a peak B when it turns down. Next uh, leg is C, then it makes a peak, and the next one is D. So you've got four higher peaks going to a D. I like to look at it to say... I'm upgrading from a buy signal to a buy mode at a certain point, and that says you should go to at least a D. At D, other things can happen. It can go to E, F, and G. It can recycle. Just a bunch of things. So just moving this away for a second, look what happened. We've gotten to the peak D in the daily chart. Now we're stalling a little bit. We were only at a leg B in the weekly chart, and the technicals, these technicals are still very strong. And the monthly chart is in leg C, and that suggests that over the period of 2024, over the period of this year, actually, in, over the next few months, we should still have a peak C and then a leg D and then a peak D. So, so far, all of that's bullish. So the way I'm looking at it, 
Uh, you and I have spoken about this many times, where I talk about the semiconductors as kind of the oil of the 21st century. We yes. had oil in the 1900s and the 2000s. Everything now has a chip. Well, not everything, just about everything has a chip. And that's really important to the economy. So in the semiconductor, so we have, a, we have long positions in the Dow. We've had them for quite a while. We've had a trading short position. It's still short. And now look at this, the SMHs. <clears throat> This is a semiconductor made a peak F. This is in the Chapman wave at 207.12. It pulled back and then it made this arch formation. A pattern that I look at is a, a pattern where, oh, let me just grab this, price comes down quite sharply and then rallies to just a peak A or a B and then it takes out the left side low. What happens after that is very important. So we have NVIDIA coming out with earnings after the bell tomorrow. But look, here's the SMHs. It went under that left side low. It's now that market hasn't closed till about 35 to 40 minutes to go. And it's got enough time to close above that. That'll be important. But you've already got to a peak E in the weekly chart and only a C. So this is almost like the Dow. It looks on the shorter term. We're looking at some kind of consolidation. Weekly chart is still good, and the monthly chart is still looking for, in 2024, is still good. But now look at this. I've spoken to you about what my, my concept about round numbers. Yes. That if you see it periodically, that's one thing. But when you see it over and over and over, it tells you that the buyers are so... They're, they're so desperate to either sell or buy. They don't even put the decimal. They just... Boom, 225, zero, zero, or whatever it is. So look at this. NVIDIA over the last uh, week and a half is at about four or five round numbers above 704. So that, And it's trading at 692 right now. We we were looking, I had callers the other day, we were looking at SMCI, and this is, this is Garrow. I guess. yep. <laughs> right, this is super micro. Uh, so I, was, I said, You've got to take some money off. I've got so oh, many round Steve numbers. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and we've had round numbers. Um, and even today, we had an eight, a 790.00 open. Look at that. A high wow. of 802.00. <laughs> and it's trading at 771 right now. And it so was as low as 692.50, right? Yeah. 1,077 in two sessions down to 692. That's the reason why I always say, you know, people always talk about you know, tax consequences when it comes to November, December, or they talk about they don't want to get out because, you know, they're going to pay taxes. I'm always saying, you know, a market in in two days can just destroy that theory altogether. Yeah. You've got to take profits where it's a gift and it's given to you. So that's what I was saying last week. That's really important. Take at least take something off so that you know you've rewarded yourself. Wait, that's this S SMCI. But look at this. GE hasn't had a round number in I don't know how long, and it's been a fantastic stock. Two, a couple of days ago, it has a 147 round number, 00, 147.00. It's an, a high just above uh, one. Oh, wait, let me just give you the exact high right here. And the high is 150.56. Uh, Trading at 148.06 right now, um, and it's the first time it's had round numbers. So I've got about two or three, and there was nothing for weeks and weeks. So I'm just looking at Lily. Eli Lily goes to an all-time high. Just a fantastic stock. And what does it do today? It has a 794.47 high um, Friday, and then it has what I call a Chapman Wave two-bar reversal, a fractionally lower high today. And what does it do? It opens at 790 and it's trading at 755 right now. So I, I think something's happening here where we've got to uh, we've got to take we've got to give credence to the fact that there are so many these are must be funds because I, it's not individuals, but to be to grab something at a high, be stuck with a I mean, look at this ARM. This is ARM Holdings, all time high. 164.00. It has a whole bunch of round numbers. It's trading now at 120. It hit 115 this morning. 164. Somebody's looking at this and saying, Wait, I paid 164 and it's trading at 115. So I respect these round numbers. And all it's saying to me is that. 
That's right, 120. Yeah, and I mean, this is this is a pretty serious pullback. It was more than a pullback. This is a yeah, twenty percent. More than that, it's it's a big decline. So I look at this and I'm saying something's happening here that's a little different. And I think this is part of this ro rotation that we're about to go into. In fact, I'm looking at some uh, areas like phosphate, and I think we we having a, a rotation here that says. The real winners that have had fantastic moves and got, have, some have gone parabolic are going to have a digestive phase. Now is a very appropriate time to be looking at other areas. So that's what we're doing from subscribers to my opening call. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. On the left-hand side, the opening call, you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Those, those numbers, man, there's so many of them, Basil. It's, it's amazing. Ama so it is amazing, man. <laughs> Have a great one, Thank man. you, Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, down 36. NASDAQ is off uh, 159. S&Ps are off 27. And let's go to, uh, where the heck am I? Oh, cool. Uh, David in Chicago. David, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing good great, man. You. Yourself? Oh, pretty good. We're warming up a bit. You know, oh, that's good. Better, so. That's real good. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I was calling about, uh, it might be a dumb question at this point, but... Uh, you know, going into earnings with NVIDIA, whether you should, you know, dump them at this point with, uh, you know, with what they've done. 
Uh, now, do you own you NVIDIA? Know, I'm sorry? Do you own NVIDIA? I own NVIDIA, yeah, and I've had a good ride with them, yeah. Okay, so here, let's, I'm going to show you something here. So we get NVIDIA, folks, all right? If you're watching Tiger TV, this was on, this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up, on a weekly, okay? Your price projection was 743. We hit, what is that, 746, <laughs> which is really crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, you know how this thing works. That's a one-to-one -one ABC up, okay? So, yeah, can it go mm -hmm. higher? Yes, it can. But that being said, so I'm going to race this for a second, and then let me show you. My, my take is this is going to back off. You know, not a lot, a lot, but I think it's going to back off. Because what you have here is this. You got an expansion of all, well, the volume at, at the highs is not bad, okay? But you get an expansion of volume on the way down. What's sticking out like a sore thumb is like, you know, the 540 number. But I, I suspect first, it's like where the breakout was, 636. You know, right in there, mm -hmm. get, get tapped in there. But, you know, it's a, it's a tough one, man, because you know how this goes. You got in, and that's a tough stock to get into when you, <laughs> you're doing really good. <laughs> so it's yeah, like. You know, I, I didn't want to, uh, you know, be foolish with, uh, with gains at this point, but I'm, I'm just, it just, it just doesn't feel good. Uh, you know, going into earnings with it being, uh, well, it's down, you know, 32 something right now. So it's kind of like. And you, know, you got an expansion of volume. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so, you know, Oh. Yep. And you, you reached a price projection, so. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got you. Hey, uh, can I ask you one more or no? Are yeah, sure, absolutely, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to ask you one I've asked you before yes. uh, about OIH. Yep. That's oil. Okay, so the low right now is two, let's, no, 246, the high is 364, you're dealing with 293. Okay, so now you're consolidating off the bottom again. One second, let's see. Uh... Okay. Um, I mean, if you're in it, I'd stay right there. It's mm -hmm. it's consolidating against the, what is that, bat last last year. And it's consolidating mm -hmm. with a lot lighter volume. See this, if you're watching Tiger TV, we put that up there. That was the big bar right there. But you can see there's, there's not a lot of sellers down here. There's not, uh, what we don't have, you know, I always like to see these high volume highs. We don't have it, but there's no sellers either. So, mm. you know, and you can see that okay. bar right there. That bar on the weekly 6.5 million, you came into a 1.9. And then we came into it again with 2.3. So the 2.3 could get tested probably again, but... Mm -hmm. I kind of hang. I'd kind of hang tight if you're in there, man, because it's okay. this is slow moving right now, which is good. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, and it's kind of close to a long term trend line, is it not? There's some sort of a trend line to it. Yeah, let me pull this back oh. even more. Then one second. Yeah, so I pulled. I just pulled it back 15 years. I'd stay right there, man. You know why? Because when I just pulled this back, if you go back a couple years. See where I have my crossbar there right there? That's monster volume. Mm -hmm. There's a huge amount of support right here. Huge. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Cooking, brother. All right. Thank you for the info. I can't wait to see NVIDIA. Oh, my God. You got a big decision uh, no, to make. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a, probably be a big move, right? Pretty cool. Oh, it's going to be. Well, the option market is, is um Pricing in a 10% move either way, so that's 60 bucks each way. Wow. Yeah. Which you makes even sense. Even on top of this uh, 30, 32 move today we're at, or, you know, in terms of, I think it's like down 33 or 32 bucks. No, that, that'll, that's going to accelerate. I could bring up Think of Swim, but that's going to accelerate coming into it. Yeah. 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 So 69 right, bucks man. either way. Thanks a lot. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D hyphen Oracle, O-R-C-L-E dot com. That's Ord hyphen Oracle dot com. Tim Ward, what's going on, brother? All right. Uh, well, let's start looking at the bigger picture. Okay. Let's...
and we'll kind of go backwards here. But okay, uh, the first uh, chart number one, we went over this I think last Thursday, but yeah, just kind of a repeat, so we'll go quick. But anyhow, this chart goes back to 2006, and it shows the times when the uh, RSI, just the RSI 14 period, reached 80. <coughs> Every time it's done that, usually you get a uh, trending market. Uh, trending market can last months, and in most cases, you know, it marks the halfway point of the move up. But the blue uh, circle areas on the daily SPY chart, which yes. is the middle chart there, okay. you can see a lot of times it comes in the halfway point. And we had that 80 reach, I think some, I think it was January 18th, I have to go back and look, but not too long ago. Uh, so we may be halfway done for this move uh, on a bigger uh, – so not every day or even every week is going to be an up week, but does suggest that if you do have pullbacks, they're usually going to be minor pullbacks. This is you're not probably going to have a ten percent pullback uh, when this this time happens. Okay. So let's flip the uh, so we'll flip the chart two. Yeah, we have it. Third window up. I think we went over the last Thursday too, and the uh, third window up is the six three day uh, of the trend. And every time it gets above 1.1 on a 63-day period, so that's basically three months of trend readings. Yes, uh, average comes out 1.1 or higher. And when you got that, a lot of times you get a trending market, which is all the blue areas in the chart. And this chart goes back. Uh, can't see here. It looks like about 2017 or something. But every time it's got above. Uh, 1.1. Uh, you can have pullbacks again, but it's, a lot of times it comes in trending markets. And uh, so you know, we're we're like 1.12 right now. So that kind of reinforces the idea from the previous chart when the 14-day uh, trend or a 14-day RSI got above 80. So yeah. there's quite a bit of evidence that we probably got a trending market here. And we'll, well, we've so, been in a trending market for four months, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 we're basically in a trending market. So we we may trend, you know, maybe all the way into August. You right. Know, we're at the what a ride point. that would be, not huh? Sure. Oh. Yeah, not, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I think this year is going to be pretty good. Just, just uh, stay right there for a second, Tim. we get got a quick break. This is Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling a problem with us out here, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, oh, that just took a dump. It's down 116. S&Ps are off uh, 39. The Nasdaq star down 190. Stay right there. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's off 109, NASDAQ's on 188, S&P's are off 38. Uh, you're talking about a little volatility, folks, right before we took, Tim and I took that break. You had the uh, S&P's go down 18 points and literally uh, heartbeat. <laughs> uh, yeah. not, not like volatility, Tim. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So um, we can go chart two a little quick again. Okay. Uh, the only thing I, w I want to point out that uh, the 60 day trend, when it gets down around one or lower, a lot of times you get, uh, you can, can get big corrections. I, I want to point that out. Last year we had a pullback from, uh, I think it was August to October, approximately that time frame. We pulled back 10%. If you look what the 63-day trend was, it was right around that one area. I see. So, yeah, so we don't have that now. We're up, you know, 1.12. So Yeah, and today, not... you know, right now, today, folks, we're running 1.40. So <laughs> this is going to get interesting. Of, of, the, of the trend? The trend's 1.41 right now. Yeah, live. Yeah, you need it that way. That's, that's a good sign. Yeah. So um, chart number three. Okay. Um, all right, this this is uh, on the volume chart. I got two uh, two areas uh, circled there, and those are selling climaxes. When volume jumps approximately 100 percent compared to the previous days, a lot of times that exhaustion move to the downside. So it's a big jump in volume. If you see minor moves up in volume, that's usually not a big deal. But when everybody gets tries to get to the exit door at the same time. Normally, that kind of halts the market if it's going down or going up. And a lot of times, they, the way out, they call them selling climaxes because both volumes there are circled in blue. Yes. Uh, volume jumped about 100%. So they mark bottoms, market rallies up. But a lot of times, you come back and test those selling climaxes. So we have, we have one last Tuesday, and we got one on January 31st. You know, the January 31st, uh, the next trading day almost did touch that low. I'm not sure that low is going to be tested, but if you look at last Tuesday's low, there was nothing around it. It, it gapped down and turned around and gapped back up. So at minimum, I would expect last Tuesday's low, which is around 490 on the SBYs, to be touched. And what I like to see, there's actually quite a few different things I like to see. I like to see the trend going up. Which it is right now. Yes, and I like to see that the two-day trend uh, reach uh, right around 1.5. Okay, and the five-day trend reach around 1.4. When I made this chart, actually the the five-day trend is the second window up from the bottom, and the two-day trend is the third window up from the bottom. So anyway, I like to see quite a bit of panic on the test of that last Tuesday's low. Yes. So the the five-day and ten or the five-day and two-day trend get to those red lines and you get a 10% lighter volume, you're probably going to have a low. Okay. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. I don't know if that's going to set up that way or not, but you know, you know, it's interesting, you know, Tim, is that too, but. It, what's interesting out here today is that Microsoft, who's been one of the leaders, okay, in a monster way, I mean, Microsoft's gone from, like, say, what, $300 to, you know, $400 in six, 420 in six months. Now, Microsoft is testing the high volume low that we're talking about the first one on the s p today so that's kind of interesting do you know what i mean you got a leader it's, it's down off the ties off, off 420 it's trading 
at 401. It hit 398 today. So that's always intriguing to me. You know, when you get the lead, it's like, okay, is, you know, are we going to march down sure. to that level? So pretty cool. Right. I know I, I was looking at the QQQ. The QQQ is weaker than the SPY. Yes. So I know we're, we're testing last Tuesdays. I don't have the chart up right in front of me, but I know yeah. uh, the QQQ is back to Tuesday's low already. Yes. So, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens here, but um, we'll have to wait and see, you know, the, the market can push down. Right. There's another thing I'll, I'm kind of incorporating here, too. Okay. Is a lot of times, go to, go to chart four. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the last high was, uh, there was a big divergence. You know, the top window is the VIX. Yeah. Next window down is the SPY VIX. And if you notice last, uh, today's Tuesday, be Friday, last Thursday, we tested uh, the previous highs we had the week before. And it, was, it actually closed at a higher high than the previous highs of, of that week before. And if you notice the VIX, made a much higher uh, low, or the SPX, met, you know, yes. there was a big divergence the ratio, in, in yes. the SPX VIX ratio. Right. And so I'm th thinking, if we go down to last Tuesday's low, will the VIX make a lower high? Okay. So, so the reason why, there's less, there's less panic on the second low, and that would be a bullish divergence. If there's more panic on the second low, in other words, if VIX makes a higher high, yeah. we'll just say, we'll talk about the VIX, don't want to confuse too much. But that makes a higher high, that would open the door that we actually go lower down to the January 31st high, which is at four, okay. you know, 480, yes. 482. So I'm saying, because I'm pretty sure we'll at least test last Tuesday's uh, low. And if the VIX makes a higher low, or a higher high, rather, then that would open the door that we may go back down to another, you know, 100 nice. points. Nice. No, I get it. I get it. Cool, so, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of variables going on here. And, there, no, there is. Me, hey, listen, uh, there is. But you're walking us right through them, and we appreciate it, man. Yeah. It, to me, I, I like to see panic, especially when I get, you yep. know, emails in the mail. Because <laughs> people are really good at picking out bottoms, especially when they're panicking. If they got enough uh, nerve to, to eat or enough uh, fear to e e or email me. Right. That's usually a real good flag for me to say, yeah, we're awful close to some sort of a low, if not a minor low, a major low. Oh, yeah. And so there's, there's, um, there's no I don't doubt know if that'll happen this time around. This is, uh, to me, what we're screwing around with here right now is kind of a minor low. I mean, the worst case scenario, in my view, is 480, which is, you know, decent, but it's not like. 380. No, that's, you know, hey, listen, man, that's nothing for the kind of uh, numbers that we've put up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So, but anyhow, that's that's my assessment of what's going to go on here. Uh, but anyhow, last Tuesday's, you know, 480 or 490 is a target, possibly 480, which one uh, may come yeah. in, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, the market's down today. Volume, just eyeballing, it's probably going to be higher than last Friday. Or uh, the previous uh, to, to be uh, today's Tuesday, Friday be last uh, Wednesday because we're testing last Wednesday's low right now. Right, and, and that was nine nine eighty six. We'll probably go down yeah. to the next lower low, which would be next to or last Tuesday. And so we'll see how that you know the last Tuesday's volume was pretty big. So I'm thinking, that, that my opinion, that we may hold. You know, it depends what happens tomorrow. I guess. Yes. So. And we get lots but, of numbers coming out tomorrow. I mean, there's a couple of these big tech stocks that have been on the run, including NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA is going to charge that market up. They come out with numbers after the close tomorrow, and you talk about high volatility in NVIDIA today. <laughs> it has it all. It has a high out here of uh, 719, the low of 677, and you're dealing with 693. So there's no doubt. Yeah. We, we got some That'd action be, yeah, here. I think, Steve, what, what those numbers are, yeah. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. Well, listen, man, it's always a pleasure. Uh, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you on Thursday, Tim. All right, talk to you then. Thank you. Right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow down 100, NASDAQ off 169, S&P's off 35. We'll come right back, folks.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 111, Nasdaq's off 174, Nasdaq's off 37. If we do go to the composite, folks, you know, we've always talked about this. The NDX 100 runs the market up, runs the market down. The composite comes next, S&P's Dow, okay? You can see the composite, bottom line, composite's trying to get back inside the lower range right now. Um, 16,007, but it actually is in the lower range, okay? As soon as it went inside 16,670, uh, he got in the lower range. So that sets up lower prices coming at us. The Qs, we take a look at the Qs. This is like a, it, it's like a slow roll, folks, okay? Now, there's, there's light volume on the S&Ps, which is saying that, yeah, we're not going to do a, a monster downdraft here, okay? But the, the Qs, the Qs, are, they're going to take some damage here, man, you know? You get you're down three, 372. It's not, there's, not, there's still not a lot of volume. This other number, though, you know, from January is sticking out like a sore thumb. So we'll see how that shakes out. More than likely, you know, that's going to be from, you know, numbers that are coming out. Let's just go over to NVIDIA because NVIDIA is going to rock the markets. There's no two ways about that. Now, the bottom line is that, you know, if you remember last time, that exploded topside beyond belief. Well, people are bailing out of it this time. Yeah, we'll see if that makes a difference. You know, we were just talking with uh, Dave from Chicago. It completed its one-to-one hey, -one ABC structure on the way up. You know, and most times when you do something like that, you'll do a retracement. And I suspect if we do a retracement, it's going to be very hard to buy into this again. 
You know, they never make it easy. That's the real bottom line. This has been one heck of a run, though. There's no doubt about it. And you can see, blew away the... That's in the weekly and the monthly, you know. So I expect what you're going to see here is you're going to continue to see a slow roll. The volume is going to be lighter on the S&Ps. The NASDAQ is the ruler here. And the dollar. The dollar is not cooperating, folks. The dollar rejected lower price out here today. You know, it's still down 255, but rejected lower price. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.